Hey there guys, I'm MJ Agus and this is my Let's Play of SnowRunner. I am going to go and get some log logs. We're doing the task High Wind Warning and it wants one long logs. We're currently on the map wise in the Harlands. They want to drop it off here, dead close to, this, to the garage, that's dead handy. And we have the log station or the lumber mill right here, long logs. So that's what we're going to try and do to start with. What I've got here though is the mod trailer for the logs, excellent set of uh, trailers and this is the Royal BM17, but not as you know it. This is a modded one, I thought I'd bring it in, I know I've been using vanilla trucks but we've done everything really contract wise in this region, I thought I'll show off this um, this Royal BM17. It's the JBE uh, by J Boosted. I will link it in the description below. It's basically got the diff lock, as you can see here, you've got the option, lots of other options for tires, suspension, engines, it's even got a roof rack, which is quite nice, and a few other stuff. So, if you like it, give it a go, I'd recommend it. I've only really used it just as a quick test around the map, just to make sure there's no real obvious bugs, but that's it, it seems pretty good. I used the pike that was at the trailer store to bring the trailer down, so I haven't actually tested it with a trailer, so this is all going to be new. Let's fire it up. I've got a, an exhaust that is underneath. You could probably... There it is there, that little thing there. So at least it doesn't put the smoke up into the screen so you're not blotting out the, the whole view. So that's quite good. Hopefully it's not affected by going through deep water. Don't really know. I'd like to think not. The main thing is, you can see it, I have a new snorkel up this side. It's slightly more discreet than the big ones that come out of the bonnet. So that's quite good. It's up at the roof. So should have plenty of height. Anyway, let's get going. We'll see how it handles. We'll start off with out all drive and diff lock, see how it does, kind of going through the, the tracks. There's no major mud, as I recall, on this route. But that's high ratio. I've got the fine tune gearbox, which is a modded one, I believe, fitted. Um, but that's high ratio, and that's, that's a good speed. I don't think I'd want to go that much faster, in fact. It's probably almost a little bit too fast. Test it here in the track, so... Absolutely no bother and without all-wheel drive or diff lock. So that's pretty good. I think it's, um, yeah, fairly making short work of that. Once we're loaded up with logs, or, or one set of long logs, that might make a wee difference. But it's more the looks and, and everything that goes with the Royal BM17 that I really liked. Which is why I went looking for a mod. There's a couple of mods of the... well, in fact, there's quite a few mods of the Royal BM17. I've only tried this one and another one, which is Royal BM17 SE. Um, both good. I just kind of preferred this one. I think it was more the exhaust and the tires. These are not massive, great big monster truck ones. And they handle quite well in the road, in all uh, on road, off road. Uh, and I think they're pretty much excellent in all regards, except for obviously ice. Anyway. I'll show you more of it once we get this dropped off. I'll take it back to the garage and I'll quickly dive into it so you can see. Anyway, our first lot of long logs. Yep, that'll do nicely. Okay, now we've got to get back out of here. Will that go over those tree stumps? Because it's quite a tall trailer. Yes, it will. Okay, now I need to jackknife it there. Yeah, that worked really well. Okay, let's put the all-wheel drive on now, and we'll see how it does. Probably even. <laughs> I'd like to think much better. But anyway, let's do it. 
it didn't like pulling there from the low ratio into the high. But once it gets going, yeah, no problem. Probably find as I progress through other, not so much anything specific, but through the let's play here, um, I'll bring in a few more mods if I find something that's nice, just to try it out. Show off for you guys. I'll probably I'll not be reviewing it as such. It's just something that's caught my eye. And if you guys find a mod that you really like. Preferably for the PC, but generally I think all mods are going to be PC compatible. But if you find one and you want me to try it out, uh, show it off to the rest of the viewers, then by all means leave a, a comment or preferably a link in the description, or not in the description, just leave a comment down below and I will I'll look to investigate it and try it out for everybody to see. This is um this is going really well actually. Sometimes some mods with the standard gearboxes are just a little bit too slow. I remember the uh, Mr. Bus's one, which is the Paystar Harvester. And in high ratio, oh my life, it was so fast. It was too fast. I left a comment <laughs> in his mods to say, can you actually slow it down a bit? I don't think he's responded to that just yet. Anyway, let's get these dropped. All done. Another task completed. Well done. The locals are happy and you have earned your pay. 2,100 cash, 240 XP. Nothing fancy about that. But that was really just to do that one with his truck. Show it off. My collection of trailers. There's the, that's a vanilla one, I think. Might be off-road, actually. It's quite tall at the back. And then I've got these ones here. I'm going to have to do a, still a massive run back to the uh, trailer store. Uh, I'm just going to leave that one here. This one's quite good with the the support. I say leg, but it's more of a, a skid. I'll show you. It drops down quite far, but it's, it's good that it lifts it up really high. Like so. That's quite good. I like that a lot. Anything that doesn't catch on the ground when you're going over the bumps, because this game it's notorious for having things to climb over and you catch your support legs in it uh, and just before i go in automatic mode has six forward gears so that's pretty decent as well i don't think it's ridiculously fast either but anyway here it is engine wise i'll just quickly go through them if there's anything of interest then you're going to probably need to pause it because i'm not i'm not going to fire everything on it's like I said, I'm not going to review everything. So a few engines, I put the big one on. There's the gearboxes, JBE transmission, six-speed fine-tune. Yeah, lovely. Plenty to choose from. Flex, tuned, raised a wee bit lower, and pretty much stock, which I need to take the wheels off for because they're big. Tires, loads and loads of wheels. And I have got the... Well, Look at the number of mud tires. But I'm, I'm scrolling backwards and forwards. These are the Dog 770K. I have no idea what that signifies. But that's what they are. So they're excellent, excellent, excellent. Chained, again, lots of chained options. There must be something there that you prefer. And they're probably all very good. Winch. Autonomous winch. Kind of cheaty, but you could have a winch that's run by battery power that's probably quite realistic um so long and strong so it's longer as well probably standard extended length i would imagine not too sure i've not actually tested it main thing is the diff lock we have a diff lock that that's kind of what i was after in this mod a spare wheel you got places for spare wheels i've got one currently in the cab somewhere hidden he's probably sat on it a uh, that's the snorkels so again lots of snorkel options even at the back that's that's actually even taller than anything else we've got and then i like the 
Which one have I got? I've got the tall front facing, but you've got the stock ones. Not so keen on that look. It's probably more realistic, I suppose, but I've no idea where that would feed into the engine. No idea. Frame add-ons. Lots, but mind I have got lots of, uh, well, a few mods, like these little ones for the, is that for the crocodile? Big powerful cranes. A, a utility mount is quite nice if you're using the the saddles, probably. It can't fit. I noticed when I was attaching the trailer that you can't have the log, eh, sorry, a crane on this at the same time as that trailer, whereas the pike could have the log lift, eh, which is loader crane, no, log lift, that one. You couldn't have that with the saddle, which is a bit unfortunate. Maybe the chassis is just a little bit too short. And probably it is, considering we've got a big front uh, engine bay. Anyway, so that's that. What else? Anything else of any interest? Just the usual stuff. Interesting towing platform. Obviously, that's color matched, so you'd be able to change all that to a plain color. But yeah, I've not used this um, ramped towing platform yet. Might give that a go at some point. And the rest are all just the sideboards. So that's quite nice, eh? What else have we got? Anything? Rear bumpers, mud flaps, stock. Uh, windshields are alright, not, not too extreme. Roof rack was the main thing for me. 250 repair parts, one spare wheel, wherever that's hidden, and plenty of fuel. Again, there's four jerry cans, but 566 litres of fuel may be a bit extreme. If it gave 100, I'd be happy. I would, if I was doing this in my Let's Play, I wouldn't use any more than what's on the, on the roof rack, which is four, so I'd give it 80 litres of fuel to keep it a little bit more realistic, but plenty of other stuff. I'll let you go through it at your leisure. Again, lots of bumpers to choose from this time. Axle protecting, that's quite nice. Just spot slides. Storage boxes, what was this? LED bumpers, cabin protectors. Lots of lights, horns, lights, and spotlights. So a couple of these spotlights here. I don't know how much more illumination you'll get from that at night time, but if you play at night, that could be a, a nice little bonus. And then the exhausts, lots to choose from there. It's even got a bonnet, a large bonnet muzzle, and a smaller one. I tried the, this one here, the small one, and again, it threw lots of exhaust smoke up and over the cab it makes it a little bit more difficult to see and i'm not a massive fan of the exhaust smoke so that's why i went with the single dump one on this side there's a side exit on the other side it kind of just comes out and goes sideways but again it throws out a lot of smoke the side i prefer that because it throws it down to the ground a and the rims basically one set of rims for this set of tires and lots of colors i went for this the red and black just because i thought it was quite nice no shortage there, and the DLC one is this. So it looks like the paint's getting ripped off. I've not actually seen that one before. Quite nice. But I'll keep it as my one. So, guys, another wee mod. I hope you like it. It's not too overpowered, I would like to think, but it's in there with the modded Tegas and maybe some of the other sensible mods. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to go and find another quick task to do. Uh, on this map here, we've... I really don't want to do that one yet. Not necessary. But I'll go have a quick nip through all the maps, all the tasks, see if I can find something that's fairly nice to do. So, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, guys, back in the BM17, and I've got a, the, as you can see, blah, blah, blah. That's not good. Okay, I'll need to edit that out. Okay. Okay, guys, I've connected up to the five slot off road version of the trailer. I'm just outside the garage. And we're going to go north. We're going to craft two metal rolls for this tune in task. 
on the map. It's a fairly short one, it would appear. We just need to go north, craft up those metal rolls, and just take them up to what would appear to be the TV tower. Which is quite handy, because that'll give me a chance to drop off that trailer and get it sold. I do actually have another one, we can just see. Yep, in there. I need to get that one in and get that sold, probably. So many trailers. Anyway, not to worry. Let's get going with this. I'll use this truck if it's available for a few things just so I can get a proper gauge of its capabilities. I've managed to fit the low saddle with this smaller. This is the vanilla crane. Well, that's quite handy. So it must just be the trailer, the, the log trailer that wouldn't allow me. Well, it is the, the log crane that I was trying to fit. So that makes perfect sense. Totally storming through this lot. These must be slightly tweaked tires, as they generally always are, but I wanted something that looked fairly correct for this truck. Because there's some monster tires that I could have put on it. That might be something that you like, it might be something you don't. Right, okay, we'll need to stop here. Quick change truck. and get that generator on. There we go. Right. Go. I'd considered just putting the sideboard bed on and just going up with that, but I wanted to get rid of this trailer. That's the only reason I've got such a big trailer for this little task. That one, and I want to create two of these. Oh, no fuel. Well, that didn't go well. Can I reach the truck from here? No. Okay. Engine off. Sorry about that. My bad. But it's not a problem. Only 150 left, yeah. Alright, good to go. Will it let me change the truck back? Oh, it does. That's strange. Anyway, not complaining. And back to these. And then we're going to have them loaded straight to the trailer. Mm, you know what, I'm going to load this one to the, to the platform just to see how this crane handles with this, because it is a vanilla one. So it's purely an experiment. Bear with me. Okay. Hey, I need to get this engine started. Oh, that came out pretty rapid. Yeah, if this is a vanilla one, it looks it looks as if it's longer. Hmm. I'm not complaining, the longer the crane the better. How long does it go? Well, that's pretty long. Oh, I'm not going to complain about that. Right, anyway, enough of that. Let's get restore the crane and on the move. Yeah, this is a nice wee bit of concrete or asphalt, so let's go and see the cab. Ah, the spare tire that we talked about, or I mentioned earlier, in the cab. Well, I know where that is. Guess I'll not be picking up any hitchhikers. I 
actually not looked in the inside of this cab before. The sunscreen doesn't seem to block too much of the, the window, so that's quite good. Not bad mirrors. I have no idea if they're tweaked from the vanilla ones, so... Either way, these are pretty good. Yeah. No need for the diff lock there. Let's go back outside. Get the diff lock on. Plenty of movement in that suspension. So we get the mud, we'll see it again. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, I like this truck. Only it was similar to this from the vanilla one. I'd have used it a lot more. See, it's got a pretty good turning circle. In there. There's no way it's going to be a cutscene, but... Oh, why oh, haven't packed it? <laughs> oh dear. There we go. There we go. Tune in, complete. Good work on that tower, now we can finally have some good entertainment out here, yeah, rock and roll. 2,200 cash, 240 XP. Where's the tower? Oh, is that it up there? Okay. Right, let's back it out here. I kind of want to go over there so I can get in to drop this trailer off. Keep spotting that little loaf in the corner. I moved into the corner just so it was less in the way when you're zoomed out in the map. I tucked him into the corner there, but it's such a shame I can't use him. Right, let's get rid of this trailer. What one is it? Gotta be there. There it is. What? Well, and that is the default one. It's not got the off-road part to it. Oh, okay. Sold. Sold is seen. Right, I'm going to leave this guy here because I do have another wee job lined up, kind of. Let's reverse it in there. Should we need a truck for a trailer? Oh, guys, again, hope you like that one. I kind of like it more and more. I'll, once I've got to use it even more, I'll give a, a further update if I remember. Okay, what we need to do is we need to jump maps now. Yes. We're going to go back into Harvest Corp. A Ford is still down here, sitting there, and possibly it's not a bad thing because we've got to visit some lakes or... Well, we haven't, I haven't even activated I just know that's what it is. Can loaf. Yes. Okay. We're in our old friend, the loaf, the can loaf. What I did was I dragged him out of the, the garage and brought him up here. Go so back in the map. Just took him out of the map, drove across country, and I've parked him here because there's two tasks, neither of which I have activated. So that's what we're going to do here. There we go. Go task. Yeah, still need to accept it, so that's good. Feeding time. We have already purchased some of the livestock feed, but this is not enough. And the budget is limited. Here in the fields there are abandoned haystacks. Bring us a few and we'll arrange delivery with a premium. 
So 4,650 cash, 400 XP if I accept that, which I will do. We're not going to track that because we're not doing that just yet. It may happen soon though. What else have we got? In search of inspiration. Always. Right, it says, did you have a moment to look around here? No? Well, you just have to see all this beauty with your own eyes. After all, many a poet and artist were inspired by it. Great stuff. 8,000 cash for this, 460 XP. Right, we'll accept that. I'm going to start tracking it. So, visit the southern lake. Okay, right, engine off. Yep, southern lake. Ah, okay, wants us down there, does it? Oh, that's the other loaf I can't use. Strange that they got two loaves and I can't use either. So I've got no vehicle. Nope, that's up by the runway or the airport. Do we need another vehicle? Okay. I can't use that BM-17. Let's back to the garage. And let's find something scouty, because that's the kind of job it is. Yeah, why don't we just use this guy? In fact, why don't we use something we haven't used in ages? Right, this is my selection. I've got the DLC Land Rovers. This one, that's a mod. Don 71. Hog Standard, bless him. A Chevy CK1500, a Tataran, a Lodestar. I haven't used this guy in ages. Another Tataran, that's the two we got from whatever map ages ago. I should really have sold one, because they're worth a lot. And what else have we got? That's my lot. What were we going to bring out? The Lodestar, yes. Deploy that. And... Customise. What's he got? Offer gearbox, that's fine. Raised. Not very good in mud tyres, so what have we got on him? Ah, only off-roads to choose from. Excellent, excellent and average. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. One of a scout. Got a snorkel. Not much of a choice there. And we've got some pickup chassis add-ons. So, spare parts and fuel. That's perfect. Let's go. I don't think there's a roof rack for this, is there? Rooftop. Bar, bar, bar. Fly, lights, lights, lights. Ah. Miscellaneous. Beacon, beacon, lights. Horn, horn. Searchlight. Yeah, don't need that. We're not driving in the dark. Yeah. He's got permanent all-wheel drive and diff locks. That's nice and easy. Right, which way am I going is the next question. We need to go all the way down to there. So it's past the warehouse, so I might as well go my usual route. Probably to about there and cut off. Should have done that when I had the Land Rover down there. Oh well. Hey, I'm going to go back that way. I actually can't even remember the last time I had this guy out. And why did I have him out? Definite similarities to the Ford F750. It was a bit behind me now, but I always pick up damage. There must be a hidden tree stump or something invisible. That's kind of why I went off to the left a wee bit there. This bit. Right. 
200 meters to the next waypoint and then we cut off. through those boards I always get stung by them. Another 200 metres to this one and then we should be on a good run down to that first visit spot. Oh, I'm getting a wee bit of lag there. Something's either loading in that I wasn't expecting. Ooh. Climb up there, okay. Of course you can. This guy is actually really, really good. I can't remember why I never used him at the beginning. And he doesn't seem to pick up damage too easily. Nicely done, Lodestar. Done. Now you want me to go and visit the Northern Lake. Of course you do, while I was up there. The engine off. And to save some time, I'm going to bring out another truck and go and visit that one. Hey, let's bring out... What was the thing I hadn't used for ages? Scout vehicle. There's that one. I think I've... Have I sold the other scout? I must have done. We tried... I haven't even updated him. But we'll try him. Let's deploy him. Put some, at least some better suspension and a gearbox has to be fine tuned, I suppose. See, these ones must be, um, I'm guessing mod ones. Why would they be one dollar, one cash? That one's one as well. Maybe it's, maybe it is because it's a starter vehicle. I don't know. Race suspension, tires. We want a wee bit of off roady stuff, don't we? Yes. We'll go with that. Could have gone with mud tires, I suppose. What are they like? Similar but different. That. Nah, let's just stick with that. Hey, anything else? Frame add-ons, roof rack. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I haven't got a diff lock on there. Okay. This could be a bit more fun. But it's so close. Yeah, mom. I think it could probably do with a diff lock. Far to go, and we've got a repair, so let's just foot to the floor. Oh, I haven't, I don't think I put the autonomous winch on. I better not tip over. And on here, then I thought it was a roof on the floor, but that must be a wee 
wee sleepy shack for somebody? An animal? I don't know. I don't, oh no, well, there's a dog kennel, so it can't be for the dog. There we go, stage complete. The load star on this guy, I will get back to the garage. Oh. Hey, in my own time. Let's just park him up with a nice view. Oh, there, look. A wee guy in a boat. Fishing. That's got to be an easter egg. I bet you if you got close to that, like down at that point, you'd disappear. Anyway, engine off. Visit the Western Lake. Western Lake. Where's the Western Lake? Western Lake. Oh, it's way over there. Okay, well, we do have the Ford, so let's use them. Right, so we up to the north. That's kind of why I left this guy here, just in case one of the locations was nearby. Really have put some waypoints in. There's the road. There it goes. Zooming along, which is probably going to end in tears if I keep that up. Now, just while I'm getting towards the end of this, I better remember to say I am a wee bit behind with my recordings, just having been away. I kind of didn't get enough recorded in time, so in case you're wondering why, you now know I will be trying to catch up and get back to my usual videos coming out on time, hopefully within the next day. Watch out for the rocks. Yeah, it's kind of sometimes hard to get a video every single day, especially when it's not your only job. Good job, Ford. Making short work of that. Yeehaw. And we're done. But how did you like it? Oh, I better look at the view, didn't I? Yeah, beautiful. Inspiring, isn't it? Maybe it'd, maybe it'd move you to start a painting career or something. You never know. I've got a rough idea. No. 8,000 cash, 460 XP. Thank you very much. Yeah. I like, I like it. A little bit of attention to detail, but that god, that the truck's bigger than that wee shack. It's better off sleeping in the truck. Right, well I'm gonna aim this guy for out the road, get him parked truck, engine off. There we go. And I'm gonna figure out the next lot of tasks for the next episode, guys. So once again, thank you so much for watching. It's greatly appreciated, and you'll see me again soon. Bye for now.